Join us this summer for the epic fantasy series Forbidden coming to Kickstarter. Hey there, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Yeah, you right there, Mr. Postman. Hey, Mr. Postman, look at me. Is there a package just waiting for me? Where's my box? Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. And uh, you know what's in the box. So I went to uh, ANS Comics out in Teaneck, New Jersey. Shout out to the small comic book retailers. They need your love, so let's keep supporting our comic book advocates. And so, you know, I had to pick up Spawn Universe. So this is a spoiler. I'm going to open up the pages. If uh, you don't want to know and you haven't picked up the book, Turn it, come back later. Or if you want to know, it's up to you. But, you know, I couldn't just get one cover. So, but, you know, the covers were pretty expensive. So I got two covers. I got uh, Gunslinger Spawn. Uh, this cover right here by Campbell. Uh, which, this is my favorite of all the covers. It's badass. And then I got the, uh, this cover by Tom McFarlane, which has... Just a multitude of characters from the Violator to Cygor to She Spawn um, to Medieval Spawn. I mean, just tons of tons of spawns. It's just it's just a spawny. And then I did also get Berserker number one since I never picked it up. So uh, I will be featuring that on what's in the box when I read it. But this is a hefty book. Um, and so before I even turn the pages, I just want to remind you, uh, well, let you know that. I collected Spawn up to issues, I think it was 110, and then I stopped. Um, and I, I, the, when I stopped collecting Spawn is when I stopped collecting comics. And I stopped at issue 110. And I also stopped at series number 9, I think it is, with the Spawn action figures. And so over time, I was a big Sam and Twitch fan, and I have every issue of Sam and Twitch. But over time, I would go back once in a while, maybe pick up an issue. Um, but I'd be lost along the way. And I think most recently I picked up 300 up to 307. And, uh, you know, I haven't had much time to get to the shops and I don't do pull list. Well, I haven't done a pull list yet. But I had to get Spawn Universe because, you know, Todd made the announcement that early on in the beginning of the year or last year, initially he was going to launch in June and there was going to be a different Spawn each week so that every week of every month you're going to have a new issue of Spawn. So he's going to start with King Spawn, Scorched, Gunslinger Spawn, and Spawn. Right? Those were going to be the four issues. So week one, you're going to have one issue of King Spawn. Then week two, you're going to have Spawn. Week three, you're going to have, you know, and that was going to circulate. And it's going to be an ongoing series. So something's changed. And I guess the workload must have been extreme. I don't know the specifics. Um, you know, I'm not uh, in the weeds. But now it's changed where... Spawn Universe launched, and the next thing that's going to come out, and we'll go over it, it's going to be in August, and the next in November, the next in. So um, I guess the workload was immense, and he realized maybe it's not a good idea to start this year, maybe 2022. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But here's Spawn's Universe. I love this cover. And um, Gunslinger Spawn, I'm not opening, but I'm opening this one because I read it. And, um, I mean, the colors are great. I love Todd's art. I mean, I love it when he does spawn. So, here we go. So, there's a lot of guys working on this. There's a lot of creators on this. So, you have the script and plot by Todd. Art, the main story, which is this story here, was by um, Jim Chung. Then Gunslinger was done by Brett Booth. And Medieval Spawn was done by Stefan Segovia. And She Spawn was done by Marcio Takara. And then Inks, Adelso, Corona, and Todd McFarlane. Lettering, Tom Ozachowski. And End World Design. Colors by FCO Placencia. Andrew Dalhouse. And Peter Steigerwald. Cover artist, J. Scott Campbell. Brett Booth and Todd McFarlane. Creative director, TM. And then editor, Thomas Haley. So it starts off with um, uh, Cog, Cogliastro. 
And so for anybody who has left Spawn and come back, um, Todd does a great job of referring to where can you go back and look at what this is referring to. Like, so he'll say C Spawn 308. So it starts off, these guys, definitely collectors, assassins, um, and for Omega. Who is Omega? If you're a Spawn fan, you know I had to figure out who Omega was as I read it, and I moved on. Uh, so they're going up to Cog the Astro, and basically they're saying, we're on to you, we're smarter than you, we're stronger than you, we realize what you've been doing, you've been hiding um, this pill in his cat. So you know, the cat goes to attack, they kill the cat. <sighs> And then uh, they throw Cog over and they take him. Boom. Then you go into uh, two weeks ago. Um, this is now. And then there's Spawn. He's He was on the hunt um, trying to flesh out some bad guys. And uh, he's doing battle. And... I love the artwork. I love the angles, the camera angles. I don't. I'm not. I don't want to give away too much of the story. So you know, I, I'll I'll pull back a little, but I'll just turn the pages and I just like really geek out and fan out on the art. Uh, but it's just typical style spawn, you know, with the chains and the ectoplasm or whatever you call his blood and. Um, So, you know, basically, they confessed to killing somebody only because they wanted the papers, not because who they were. So, anyway. So, Spawn saves the girl. He's talking to this cat who... Spawn wants to go back to an island when he got his butt kicked. And, like, he can't be. So, he's recharging Cygor. I have Cygor. I have the FAO exclusive Cygor action figure in the case. In the uh, plastic case. It's a big thing. Um... Uh, it's a great character. So, you know, he realizes, yeah, I have to go back to this island to get some answers. He recharges Cygor, and they're going back. And so, apparently, the the idea is that the kingdom of hell is open for grabs. Omega was supposed to um, be it, and Spawn killed him. So, uh, so, they're on the island, and then boom. It pops off. They're, buck, they're, they're shooting. I was about to say they're bucking shots. They're shooting. Pop, 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 pop. Look at this scene right here. This is dope. Right here. Now, Cygor's going and he's taking heat. He's got the gun. Um, and I don't know where he's shooting. Because he should be shooting. I'm not sure where he's shooting. It looks like he's shooting up. Misfire. What's up with that? Anyway, so now here we go. They introduce the new guy, and I believe his name is Disruptor. So he's now taking the lead um, because Omega fell. And now he's trying to get possession of the throne, but he needs Spawn to unlock this realm. And so then he's so powerful that he was able to manipulate. He froze Spawn in his place. And Saigor, and then he manipulates Saigor to now do his bidding, and Saigor breaks Spawn's back. That is horrible. Um, then you have the news. So this is where I was like, oh my gosh, I got to read all that. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, say it ain't so. But it's the news talking about, you know, the summit, um, the G20 summit, and they're talking about climate and, and natural disasters and all this stuff. But a lot of it has to do with the fact that there's, a, um, there's an underworld war, uh, supernatural war going on. And it's affecting the climate. Taking Spawn back to uh, lock him up. These guys are like, we're, you know, we agree to, to you. We're going to do your bidding, blah, blah, blah. And so they go to their underground base where they have the other captives, which are Gunslinger, Spawn, and Cagliastro. And, you know, Spawn is starting to feel the pain from the, the whoopings. And so, 
He's saying basically, I'm not, you guys, you're considering yourselves lucky because I'm not sure which one of you are expendable, but when I do, you're dead. And, uh, you know, the effects on Saigo were started to come off, and then he had to go and put him back in his place. He's like, leave him, you bastard. And so this is where they start talking. You know, it's like, who are you? Blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and then Cog uh, decides that he's just going to go crazy. He snatches a, a bullet from Gunslinger. He's going to get out. This guy kicks him into a bottomless pit. And um, then it goes from there. So Gunslinger says, oh, man, he did this. Let me try the same thing. He tried screaming, so I'm going to try screaming and whatever. And then and, uh, I guess, I, uh, what is it called? Uh, hone in or conjure up power to be able to escape. So they break it out. Bum, bum, bum. You know, they're trying to get out of this joint. Uh, again, the camera angles are dope. It's really cool. And they know they're racing with time. And there's Cog. So, Cog faced off with um, Omega Spawn, with Plague Spawn. And um, he realizes that he has to uh, transform. In order to prepare for the battle that's to come. You know, and this guy, unfortunately, on the ship, doesn't know that he's about to fall victim. You know, he's talking to his family. I love you, blah, blah, blah. But uh, fall victim um, and die because his ship just happened to be in the way of the transformation and the rebirth of Cog, who now becomes Sin. I don't know how I feel about that because I have a Sin character in Forbidden. So I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, what's up with that? But anyway, um, yeah, so uh, and so that's where that's where that ends. So you have to read it all to get all the gist. I'm only giving you highlights and anecdotes. But then it goes into smaller stories, introductions. And so you have Medieval Spawn. And Medieval Spawn, basically, this story tells the tale of him trying to avenge his fallen brethren and he goes off on his own to find and um, avenge them. But that was just a distraction because his his men were killed by this big giant dragon and this magician. So he realized he screwed up. He comes back. Everyone's dead because of his um, uh, irrational reaction and uh, so he does battle with this beast and the guy's like you know I'm only I'm not as strong as my boss Cagliastro so that opens up some questions then he wakes up with this guy uh, what's his name His name is Mark Rosen. He wakes up having a nightmare. So is he medieval spawn? I don't know because I have I've been gone for a minute. So he could be and transformed, and that's who he is because he has a nightmare. Like, oh my god, am I gonna be able to avenge everybody on time, or am I gonna die? Boom. Then it goes into she spawn. Boom. Short story. So everyone's preparing for war. Everyone's preparing for the battle of the underworld, and who's gonna take the throne? Because whoever takes the throne rules. Hell. So here she is. She knows. She remembers the last words that were told to her. And the last words were, the moment they find you care about anyone, they'll never be safe again. So she has to go see her mom who's been caring for her child. Um, and the child only knows her as the aunt. The mom is pissed off with her, giving her a tongue lashing. You know, and saying that you know, your stories are excuses, blah, blah, blah. You know, she said, I don't work for the government anymore. They're going back and forth as banter. So she just wants to say her final goodbyes. And she's like, auntie, auntie. And so she goes, can you come and play with me? She goes, no, I just came to give you a hug. And I, you know, I'm going to go. And she's like, mom, you're never going to see me again. And now she's preparing for war. Cool introduction of what's to come. My favorite of all is the guns, the, especially the art style. I love the art style in Gunslinger Spawn. And so it starts off, he's dead. Boom. Right? How long? How long has he been lying there dead? Right? And you got the seasons going by. And the, my phone's blowing up. And then he, he's dead. He's just been rotting. 
Um, and I don't know if you see that from the glare. There it is. Bomb. It's just dead. Um, because I have that light. Let me see if I move this a little. Uh, you still get the lights. So that's that's fine. All right. So the artwork, the coloring on this is off the chains. My favorite of all. So I'm gonna move this up. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Um, he rises. The wolves were just watching him because they know he was coming back. He puts his face back on because his face was skinned. All his people are dead. And now he's getting ready for war. And he says, come. And the wolves come following. So, uh, and here's Todd. Basically saying, um, thanking everybody. From the fans to the retailers, to everybody who has been supportive. And this is, uh, the king is coming. King Spawn is coming. And so now here's where it changed. So now, King Spawn number one on sale in August. Gunslinger, you have to wait till October. That sucks because that's my favorite. And the Scorched on December. So it's every other month. And I'm hoping that in 2022, it becomes, each of them become a monthly. Um, but we'll see because that's why he said it was supposed to happen. So, And so here it is, King Spawn, August 2021, only from Image Comics. For someone who's been gone... I don't I didn't need to know everything to know that there was somebody who was supposed to uh who vacated the throne there's somebody who wants the throne Spawn is involved and he's the key to 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 preventing it from happening the other characters in it Cagliostro um knows that he has to transform in order to prepare for war all these characters are coming out preparing for war whose side will they be on what's going to happen that's gonna who becomes King Spawn. All these things, really cool. Great way, great jumping point if you're new to Spawn. Great way to start. Um, fresh. And my recommend, if you want to get caught up in the Spawn universe, get the collected, get the graphic novels um, to get caught up because hunting down all the issues, uh, like for me, I'd have to hunt down at least 180 issues and that's not going to happen. Uh, so I'd rather just get the collected edition. Um but uh, I love it. And so, again, what's in the box? I feature a lot of indies. I only focus on indies. You're not going to see the big two. Nothing against the big two, but this is only for indies. And if you want your book on what's in the box, just hit a brother up. Hit me up, and I'll feature it. You can send me a physical or a PDF. It doesn't really matter. Um, and remember, Forbidden, number two. Uh, the follow-up follow issue is actually number one because I launched Forbidden number zero on Indiegogo. Forbidden number one is launching on Kickstarter July 6th. The link is in the summary. Hit the link on the landing page. Sign up today to be part of the Forbidden universe. This one takes off. It's 27 pages. It's amazing art by Anibal Arroyo, lettered by George the Dream of Medina, colored by Barbara, written by me. Variant cover by me, cover by Anibal. It's real. It's on fire. If you like fantasy, this has family. This has descent. This has um, deception. It has darkness, evil, uh, prophecies, uh, old world meets new, you know, conspiracies. It's all that and above and a bag of chips. And it's going to be amazing. And uh, you're going to love it. So sign up on the link below. And don't forget. July 6th, 17th, and 18th. I will be at Dolocon with Jonathan the Psycho Syfax. I hope to see you guys there. I'll be signing copies of all my books. Yes, and I have a lot of books. And um, we'll be at Zolocon. And join us next Wednesday for the live show with the crew. So Jonathan, George, and Aniba will be in the studio with me. And we're going to have a ball. We're going to have a blast. And remember, the countdown to 1,000. If we get to 1,000 subscribers by September 9th, one lucky winner will win a $100 gift card, a hoodie, and three graphic novels from us, and you'll be featured on our show. So uh, subscribe today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this episode. I'm Sam the Crazy Man Vera. This was another episode of Walks in the Box. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. What's in the box?